If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now let's go ahead and jump right into this video. What's up guys, it's Vive Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we've got for you some more insane trading methods that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. Now if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you do please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate it and it helps me out a ton. And then make sure to check out all the links in the description like Twitch for all my daily live streams, Discord for all sorts of trading advice and investments, and all the other links down there as well. And with that said, let's go ahead and let's jump right into this video. So guys, we got three methods for you today, one low budget, one kind of mid budget, and one higher budget to help you guys make some easy coins. So let's go ahead and dive right in to our low budget one here. We are going to be looking at Eredivisie gold common strikers here. Now, as you can imagine in this filter, there's quite a few cards. We got Goza, Klassen, Position Change, Zahavi, Vinicius as PSV players as well. And if we go ahead and take a look at these cards right now, these are selling for these strikers, basically 850, maybe 800 coins. So these are going to sell 850 a piece. So selling for 850, you're only going to lose 43 coins on tax. So I would probably try to pick these up for 700 or less sniping and bidding just because I want to make at least 100 coins per card after tax. So you'll be making basically 107 coins a card if you pick these up at 700, but obviously you can get them much, much cheaper. Now, with this method, you can try sniping. It's probably not going to be too difficult to pick the cards up that do pop up. But the thing is, they just don't pop up that often. So I absolutely love bidding with this method. Bidding with this method is unbelievable. I mean, as you can see, just in the next couple minutes here, we have a couple cards that were coming in with only 350 coin bids on them. And these go for 850 a piece. So it's kind of crazy how many cards you can see pop up here. Now we are getting this market glitch where things don't like pop up correctly when we uh, when we search for them. But yeah, bidding on these cards is going to be great for you. And then, you know, once you go through and bid on these cards that are going to expire soon, that's when you can come in and while you're waiting, do some sniping. Don't just sit there and stare at the cards and wait for them to get down to the last 30 seconds. Go bid on them and then do some sniping. We do pick up a Vinicius there. For 650 and we're going to go ahead and list him for 850 here some quick coins right there which we like to see so i'd be interested to see how many people are actually going to be bidding on these cards so we got a couple bids coming in here again you can also just do the mass bidding method where you just go through and bid 700 on every card and see if you pick them all up and just quickly flip them for what we know they sell for and then this card has already sold as well for 850 you, so you can see you can quickly flip these cards they sell really fast but into our next filter a little bit higher budget one here going to be kind of our mid budget for you guys we're going to be looking at gold rare center backs we're going to go to the Serie A here and we're going to go over to Juventus or Pimonte Calcio so in this filter we're looking at Benucci, Chiellini and delict i believe that's it just those three and if we take a look at the price of these what are we looking at right now five over 5k for these so this is nice we like when these are up in price we like that a lot so if we take a look these are basically selling 5700 let's check 5800 so I'd probably sell these 5,800 because they'll go. So selling at 5,800, you'll lose 290 on tax. So I'd probably be trying to pick these up for about 5,400 because you're basically losing 300 with 290. Want to make at least 100 coins a card. So I'd try to pick these up 54. And if you want to make more coins per card, you could even just bump the max buy now down. Ooh, 5K there. Oh, come on now. Um, but the thing is, I'd rather just make the 100 coins on a card rather than not see a card. So I typically just make it to the point where, ooh, 5.2, man, we they, they're popping up relatively quickly, as you can see in this filter. It's not the worst thing in the world. Now, I can say with filters like this, I don't really like bidding that much on something like this. So if we take a look, the max I want to go is like 5,400 for bids. If we take a look, there's nothing for the next 10 minutes here. Now, is that the market glitch or is there actually just nothing? Yeah, someone bid 5,400 there. If we keep scrolling here, I mean, it's just really tough to bid on these cards. I mean, we could bid here for 54, but that's even making our minimum profit we'd like to make. So not a ton of deals to be had here another one there for 53 not a ton of deals to be had in the bidding market 
with this filter, which is why I do prefer sniping with something like this. But into our third and final filter, which is probably my favorite for this video, honestly, and there's a couple ways to do it. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go, oh, I just thought of a different way you could possibly do it. But first thing, I, what I was originally gonna show was just Prem Chelsea special right wing back. And what this gives you is it's gonna give you Reese James and it's gonna give you Aspil Equata. These are both team of the week cards that come out of packs as right wing backs. Now what a lot of people are going to do is they're just going to go right back because that's kind of the position that comes to mind with these two. But the thing is, they come out of packs as right wing backs. I'm like 90% sure. I know Azpilicueta does. So if we take a look at the price here of these Chelsea right wing back team of the weeks, right now they it looks like 16.5K, maybe a little bit cheaper. 16.5 is going to kind of be the number for these cards. So you're basically going to lose 800 on tax. You call it 850, 825. So I'd probably try to pick these up for like 15k or less because when you are trading with these special cards, is he just sitting there for 15? We'll take it, boys. We'll take it. So just to see if I can get a sale in the video, I'm going to list him 16250. Um, yeah, we'll lose 800 on tax. Still going to make like 450 coins on that card which is nice but you can see that card was sitting on the market for like five seconds it's not like i was do i hit some crazy snipe there and these just aren't that difficult to pick up and just to double check the price i mean for 16k here there's two reese jameses for 16.5k here i mean you've got a little bit of supply but these are going to sell at 16.5 and the informed market is always up and around depending on sbcs so you'll always be able to get profit out of it as we get kicked out of ultimate team but that allows me to kind of get to a point bidding with this filter is unbelievable bidding on special cards that are kind of in that 10 to 20k range is really really good you could easily make 500 to a thousand coins a card with zero effort these cards it just seems like nobody tries to bid on these cards when they when they kind of go in that range and it makes it really easy to pick them up so just to kind of give you an idea let's see if we can get a deal here so if we go special prem right wing back Chelsea, and we just go like 15k here and see what there is at max price 15k nothing coming in soon actually which is kind of surprising let's take a look here maybe it's a little bit of a glitch no but that's the thing when you when you search this specifically on special cards as well is that there's not going to be that many of them because we're looking at two informs basically and that's it so it's not like there's going to be crazy supply and they're going to be rolling in every every 30 seconds but when you see these guys that have like a 10.5k open bid just tag them add them to your transfer targets and try to pick them up later when they get down to the um to the last 30 seconds or so but again you saw i mean we picked up an aspel equator just like that it was so easy and you can just sit here on this filter it's going to be a little bit slower in terms of how quickly they pop up but it's going to be a lot faster in terms of how many of the cards that pop up that you're actually going to be able to snipe because there's not as many people on a filter like this but guys that's going to be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video